When I buy a game, I want to get my money's worth 110%. It's not every day you can drop 15 bucks on some random chance you don't even know if you'll like. And if you don't like it, you just lost all that money. It's a never-ending cycle of buying and regretting, or buying by some stroke of luck, getting your money's worth. That's why it's best to emulate the game before you purchase it to get the best idea. But if you don't have a good computer or it's a newer game, you're screwed. Every time I get a bad game, I have to play through it anyways because of that sense of getting your money's worth is all too strong. That's fine and dandy, but here's a question. Does emulate breed impatience. I was recently playing Baroque, emulated from the PS2, and I quickly realized this game has a real learning curve. You can't just jump in, you have to teach yourself its esoteric ways and spend enough time with it to lock yourself within its pace. The same goes with a series like Ninja Gaiden or Dark Souls, all games I bought. Difficult and weird Japanese games are my bread and butter, don't get me wrong, but only when that passion and desire to move forward is there, I can say wholeheartedly I was having fun, but that wasn't enough. Much like Kingsfield in the Soul series, you're gonna get pissed off right from minute one. Neither start out as terribly fun, but are intriguing enough. They don't have the same imminent grab as Ninja Gaiden, but nothing pushing you away like Vector Man did. And so you trek on. I quickly grew tired and frustrated by Baroque. There are hundreds and hundreds of easier, more appealing games that didn't require the same level of dedication. Why remain with this one giving me trouble when I could easily switch to something else right then and there? That ideology and sense of pride taken from trekking on is all but here, and I know I would have felt it when playing on the console. I don't have many games, so forcing me to enjoy a hard one is inevitable. The element of money and lack of quantity has always dragged me kicking and screaming out of my comfort zone. I love Kirby, GTA, and a lot of first person shooters and plenty of other easier games, and why not? I grew up on that stuff. I'm not gonna deny it now, but what I do believe to be healthy is having tastes grow. I saw that when I was introduced to harder games. Back in the day, whenever something got too hard, I always handed the controller over to my brother or cheated to get out of it. Though when he was gone at 16 and I had no one left to play games with, he also bought them occasionally, I had to up my skill level with the few games I had. And that's part of why I can thoroughly gush over Ninja Gaiden for hours among the myriad of other reasons. I would have never picked up that game if my economic and two-player ability wasn't shattered right there. Circumstances for forced me to change the way I play in order to continue playing. Emulation, however, seems to be devolving my senses and would have gotten away with it if it weren't for me being aware of the situation. When you have all the money in the world to buy every game, you both become increasingly picky and less willing to put time in to truly enjoy something. Every game is different and that allows a lot of looseness in the pacing department. An impatient rich kid with all the game isn't gonna wait around for his game to entice and immerse him. No, give him the punchiest, quickest game. Because of this revelation within my gaming habit, I've left games like Baroque that I share a definite interest and enjoyment for, for a physical version in my collection. I'm sure other games down the road will meet this fate. I'm kind of experiencing that right now with the original Kingsfield from 94, in fact. It's one of those other tough as nails games you need to sink a lot of time into. Price allows us to have an initial investment right then and there. Money is a very important thing in the world, and to reiterate, it's not something you should waste even at luxury. I'll power through even the worst of games if I paid a hefty enough price on it. Video games are meant to be a consumer product first and foremost that makes money. Take away that element and you'd be surprised how many of my favorites I couldn't stand trying from the beginning.